Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my maintain the look. You see I have some fresh ones in the front because I actually rebraided this whole perimeter. The back row on the sides and the back. And then I did this huge chunk right up here because I plan on wearing my hair down too. I mentioned in the video that I use the Edge Control by Cream of Nature, but I do also still use my curls. This is what I used in the first video. But between the two, they're both but oh, Cream of Nature actually holds a lot better. I think that one is the extra hold and this one is just the regular edge control, control paste by Curls. And I just love the way this smells. It smells like blueberry, it smells bomb. This Lavish Curls Moisturizer is bomb. I like to spritz this throughout my head. I'm just gonna spritz it just on the root because I like the way it smells. It does keep my scalp moisturized too. I do have new growth and my new growth is curly. Oh, this black caster miracle excuse me I use this it's best to use this every three days since we are maintaining this look and I rebraided a few of them and I washed my hair I'm gonna go ahead and run this through my scalp are sleeping with this hair and you like are like me you're not a fan of wrapping your hair at night I I like I've said in other hair tutorials I use satin pillowcases and I sleep on a satin sheet so when I move around my hair is not getting caught on any cotton or anything like that it probably is best to wear something on your head but I just I just I can't wear anything on my hair at night when I like to be free when I sleep. That is how I maintain my braids and I also don't want to leave you guys without showing you how I redo my hair. I also want to mention to you guys before we get off this this video before I, I let you watch the the last half of this video. I want to let you know that you don't necessarily need to use new hair to retwist your hair. You can just use one of the ones that are already in your head, just untwist and then twist them back in. Make them look nice and brand new at the top and you're good to go. Now I did use new hair at the the front here but then when I realized that I could just untwist the hair that I already have, I did. That's what I did for the rest of the hair. Like this one here. Let me just show you that the hair is still looking nice. Still looks good. Still looks really good. This is the three week braid. This is the new braid. Alright guys, I took a shower and I washed my hair. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go around the perimeters here and we're going to cut some of these bad boys out and we are going to retwist. Especially this one right here. Do you see that? It just super slid. Just filling at the top. It most likely it slipped because it wasn't secure enough. I didn't, it wasn't as tight at the root like I thought it was, but that's okay. We're getting ready to fix that situation right now. You want to make sure that you do not chop off your own hair. So what I'm going to do is just, uh, I'm going to cut down far enough just to be safe right there. Okay, I'm just going to begin to untwist the hair. Untwist and then begin to unbraid because it starts off with a braid and it goes down into a twist. Oh my gosh, we're okay. Mayday. Alright, so I'm going to need my comb, I'm going to need my edge control, and I'm going to need some moisturizer so I will be right back the lavish curls moisturizer and this is perfect actually for my roots <laughs> we're just gonna use it for my roots and then after I lay that I'm just gonna twist it just like this leave that free then I'm gonna go ahead and then do the same with the other.
I am taking my Water Wave by Freetress. And I'm so glad that I did not toss these extra pieces of hair because then I wouldn't be doing this video right now so soon. So that was my water wave that I'm separating and then I'm going to grab one strand, not just one strand, but one little piece of the Bohemian braid. And this is in the number four. So like I said in the first video, I actually mixed both. two bohemian braids separated those then I'm going to separate my water wave I'm not cutting this hair okay I fully enjoy it being long so I'm just gonna keep it long instead of placing the hair together like this I want them long so I'm going to do I'm taking both pieces this is the bohemian braid and the water wave and the same thing on this side I'm going to combine the two but to make them long the braid the twist long I am going to start out by sliding each side just like this so you see there's a shorter piece right here on the on this end and then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side okay and it should look just like this my edge control. This is one of my favorites. Probably this is my favorite edge control. This is the only one that I use between this one and curls. But curls doesn't have that extra hold like Cream of Nature does. Ooh, look at y'all getting front, front and close. We're gonna take the edge control and we are going to just go ahead, smear that on into the hair, get it nice and secure. Passion twists to me look so nice when they are, or any type of braid, when they are, when they look fresh at the root, okay? Fresh at the root. So learn this, guys, learn this. So I'm taking my hair. We have the synthetic hair, wrapping it around. Okay, make sure you hold your natural hair taut. You wrap the synthetic around your natural hair. Take your time with it, okay? This is how you get in good practice. And then you just, while holding your natural hair taut, make sure you begin braiding down, okay? Down a few, because this is the twist. We're not braiding, we're twisting, okay? So you braid down just a little bit. All right, now here, you're gonna divide the natural hair into two pieces because now we're getting ready to start twisting now make sure when you begin twisting with your natural hair and the synthetic hair that you are spinning it twirling it just like that as you twist down okay just like so so you twist down just like that twist twist okay and we'll just go down together. This is while your while your natural hair is still being twisted down along with the synthetic hair, you are doing that extra twist every time you go down until you get to the end of your natural hair. Then you will start to twist down regularly. This is just the way that I do it. Everybody has their own little technique. I'm taking a little bit of my moisturizer and I'm Spraying it on my way down, taking a little bit of edge control, and we're going down. This is just to make sure that your natural hair stays in, um, stays mixed in with the synthetic hair and it does not start to come out. Now my hair is relaxed, okay? I'm, I'm, I just want to show that it can be worn with um, relaxed hair. Now my root, on the other hand, my root is growing out. <laughs> she growing out. Now that we've reached the end of my hair, I'm gonna go ahead and start twisting regularly all the way down. And we're just gonna twist. Listen. Now I'll look at where we are, the love that we share, the way that you care for me. Maybe I can't believe, yeah. Things like
enjoyed this video and I will catch you in my next one.